Well, not much to say. I mean, they skated and competed, and we didn't. And, you know, people may want a longer analogy, but that, at the end of the day, that's what this game comes down to. So, congrats to Maine. As you say, Maine played a real relentless game, and you guys were inconsistent again. Another stretch, though, was you had the first six shots of the second period by my count, then four penalties. They actually yes, eighteen to three. Yeah, just uh, you know, fourteen shots on their power play. Uh, poor clears was a big part of that. We, just, we had pucks on our sticks, didn't clear it. Just the casualness to our, power, our penalty kill power play was just as bad as it's been all year. I mean, you know, the list goes on, and the same exact reasons. And skate when it could be. What did May do so well to have success in transition? I think all three of their goals were scored in transition. They skated up ice and we stood. I wish I could give you more. <laughs> I do, I'm not being live. I mean, just, I mean, literally, they, we stand and watch and they skate by you. Real compelling performance last time out against Lowell, a few weeks off, obviously disruptive with the World Juniors and so forth. So I tried to play a game last night, but uh, again, like, you know, I haven't played in a month and I know that, but I mean, when that's just, I mean, to me, you're playing a hockey game, you got to skate and compete. I don't care how long you've been off the ice from a game standpoint, you just, it's, that's who you are, that's what you've got to do. Sometimes we do it and sometimes we don't. What do you attribute the inconsistency to? Uh, I've got a few theories, but I'd prefer to keep them to myself. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on other than BU hockey. Anything else? Thanks, Bill.